what is opportunity that has been given uh, I will explain about the economy mining in Indonesia and Indonesia is the home of the sum of the largest natural deposits and extensive resources around the world and this is the explanation about economy mining in Indonesia Indonesia is continues to be a global significant player in the global mining industry with a significant production of coal, copper, gold, tin, bauxite, and nickel. Indonesia also continues to be one of the world's largest exporters of thermal coal and the mining and quarrying stack is the consecutively contributed a lot five to ten percent to the total gross domestic product of indonesia dollar of eight point and nine eight percent to the gdp with a figure is the rising along with the indonesian economy and furthermore indonesia mining sector for been go- going for the decades now but is not worthy growth started around one nine seven six This is a sample of mineral and coal prices in the latter half of 2018 were generally weaker than the first. And this is coal, copper, gold, nickel, tin, and iron ore. And mineral and coal prices have bounced back from their low point in the 2015 to 2016 period. With 2018 showing a stronger performance than the previous year compared to 2017. Iron ore is the only major mineral with a decrease in average price and only 3% on that. And meanwhile, the average prices of coal, copper, and nickel are your rows year on year by 21%. 6% and 26%. Respectively, in 2018, however, the commodity prices in the second half of 2018 10 with the softening generally continuing into the 2019 again in order that for iron ore after some increases in the first quarter. As you can see in the following charts, the movement of the market capitalization of these coal and mineral mining companies on the EDX generally follow the fluctuation of commodity prices, hence uh, the further reduction market capitalization. And this is the market capitalization of the mining companies in Indonesia. It's total index market cap, coal mining stocks, mineral mining stocks. It is sorts from IDX. From 2017 to 2018 saw a continuation in the recovery of IDX, this mining stock with the total market capitalization decreasing by 70% to IDR 310 trillion at 31 December 2017 and by another of 70% to IDR rupiah 367 trillion at December of 2018 but in the 2017 the increase was contribute a coal stock which increases by 27 while a metal and the mineral stock on the other hand decrease by approximately 8% while in 2018, both mineral and coal stock increased by 25% and 17% respectively. And the mining industry contribution to the Indonesian economy improved in 2018. The mining sector has been one of the key sectors of contributing to the Indonesian economic growth over many decades and the sector make a significant contribution to the Indonesian gross domestic product or GDP, its export, government revenue and employment.
Indonesia is the home of the zone of the largest natural deposit and the extensive resources around the world are significant among the coal, nickel, copper, lead, bauxite, and the dirt are just more the many more are out there. And this is why Indonesia main industry is so important to its entire economy. According to the Bank Indonesia from 2010 to 2020, this is significant because amount of the coal, gold, nickel, copper, tin, and bauxite is the mining of coins stack and has consecutively contributed around 5 to 10 percent. And according from the Bank Indonesia, the mining and coin stack will contribute around 5 to 10 percent of the total gross domestic product of Indonesia at the same time and also the main the larger part of the nation export only behind the industrial export and in 2021 we estimate that the mining and querying sector contributed over 9.5 million US dollars or 8.98 percent to the GDP which is the figure that rising along with the Indonesian economy and the economy furthermore Indonesia mining sector is looking to uh, make bigger break after its plan to make the electric vehicle sector. Well, the process of nickel, a key component of the sector in Indonesia, is the home to 23.6%. And the querying is the contribution of the mining industry to Indonesian GDP, according from the percentage of mining industry contribution to GDP mining industry's contribution to GDP and for the more Indonesia mining sector is looking to make a bigger break after its plan is planned to make the electric vehicle sector it's in the process of nickel key uh, vehicle sector component empowering the world nickel reserves that position the nation a key hope for the net future of transportation and bank Indonesia is just how big Indonesian mining sector, what what those future looks like, and the component empowering the sector Indonesia is the home of 23% to the world nickel reserve there is position. The according from 2021, the estimate of the mining and quarrying sector contribute over 95 billion US dollars. US dollar or 8.9 GDP percent of GDP which is a figure that is rising along with the Indonesian economy furthermore Indonesia mining sector is looking to make the bigger break after the plan to make electric vehicle sector with a process of nickel of key and the world of the world nickel reserve of 23.7 percent of transportation so just how big the Indonesian mining sector and what does it like in the future? So the significant contribution of the mining of sector of Indonesia has relatively been going for a decades now, but it's not worthy. Growth started on around 1976 when the President Suharto pursued better policies to help and boost the mining industry, but only around Nine one nine nine zero when the big Arctic actually come around production with the new reserve and the country of China, U USA, Australia, India, Indonesia, Russia, and South Africa is the destination of expansion. Its payway production export local for international demand is its ex the expectation. Its coal production in one nine and one grow grow from third. 13 million tons over 606 million tons by 2021 which became of the surreal story of the player in the nation so surreal that in 2020 the Indonesian government had the temporarily the call to support because it's the domestic supply with falling shines in the international demand was copying of the local players very good have from in the beta of Adaro Energy America 2019 have a three 0.4 billion of 23,000 people of employee for the nation for the oil gas reserve from the sector of the Pertamina, the largest producer ended up with the international film like ExxonMobil and Chevron Corporation and 
this is not just evident in the oil and the gas reserve. This is uh, around the entire industry from the nickel, the copper, and from the gold. And it is the Palen Ico and the Peter Freeport Indonesia. This. And these are some of the country largest mining pits are being run by international firms, but, but there are play out lots of money in being drawn already in the millions of people there. And the employment of market capitalization of the mining companies in Indonesia we exchange from the 2010 to 2017 we have somewhat grown but not that much in the past of nine years well this is obviously changed due to the fluctuation in revenue wise and it's obviously mining firms list to interesting stock from 2010 to 2019 has grown to employment according to the Fraser Institute there there still needs more to be more done in the Indonesian mining industry according to the data by the PVC mining firm list of the Indonesian stock. And it's around mining pits are being run by internal firms, the fluctuation in the commodity prices factors that need to be addressed. The rank of Indonesia fairly low when the world mining potential index because is current mineral policies and the pure of investment climate after all but not that much of past of nine years well this this obviously changed due to fluctuation in the commodity prices the most of the recent years and the capitalization of mining indonesia is totally increased year by year the Mineral Position Index, the Policy Position Index, Mineral Position Index, Prospectivity Policy, Potential Index, Investment Condition by according the employment and the pressure understood there. Still needs more to be done to be in the Indonesian mining industry according to the data and so this the plan to slowly retire when the climate friendly enters on they will see the coal oil and the CO2 contributor will be phased out of greatly reduced according for a growth will buy Indonesia by 2060 the nation 2000 and 2060 the nation already have plans to slowly to this the plan is slowly retire as lands and replace them with the renewable energy sources by 2000 and 2056 alcohol fired power plant will fully replace by renewable energy which may 2060 clean energy with the dominant source of power like PLTU, PLTGU, the nuclear, PLTA, PLTP, MAT, PLTS, and PLTB. This is according from the Bank Indonesia. First of all, this is the detriment of the coal industry or the scenario or zero carbon of TVH with renewable energy resource and by 2056 the coal-fired power plants will be fully replaced by renewable energy which made the zero carbon of the implement of Indonesia with the fuel of renewable energy which my of 2060 clean energy will be the dominant source of power now first of all is the statement of coal industry and by the nation already to have plans to slowly to this the plan of slowly retire and fire alone with world mining potential index because this current mineral policies and a pure on investment climate now the the mix first the world needs to see the climate friendly energy soon then we will see the coal, oil, and other CO2 contributors will be phased out or greatly reduced according to the report by Bank Indonesia by 2000 and 2019. And the nation already plans to slowly do this. The plan is slowly retire as lands and replace them with renewable energy sources. And by 2056, our coal fire power plants and will be fully replaced with renewable energy. So first of all, this is the this is the all for me and thank you for listening and see you again. God bless. You.